Hello everybody, Burnt Out Guy here, and welcome back to Cloud Punk. Alright, so we're, um, yeah, off to go see uh, the CEO of some fancy fancy company. We finally made it, people. We made it to the big leagues. We're delivering to the rich, the famous. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh. It is kind of nice up here, though. There doesn't seem to be as much crap, though, you know, like you just see the top of the spires, like the top of the towers, and kind of nice, kind of nice. Oh, hey, Camus, you see that bird? I Where? believe it is a falcon. His name is Norman. Oh. How do you and Norman know each other? Through a mutual friend. I think he might be lost. I should tell the falconer. Where? Oh, the falconer's like downstairs. I remember seeing him elsewhere. I'm just gonna go pick this up. Just because I happened to notice it. Good stuff. Corpse up flyers. Those get you into some pretty good places. <clears throat> Alright, I'm sure we're gonna come back here. So let's go here. I have your delivery. Consignment 1432. Uh, that's for me. Code PNPL12. Here you go, sir. Thanks, lady. You're a lifesaver. I was gonna tell the boys in the office about this, but actually, I'm gonna keep it all for myself. Can you believe our last order put pineapple on it? <laughs> pineapple on what? The pizza. We rely on drones to get the best food deliveries up here, but in the last week, they've gone mad. All our orders are messed up. Some problem with the city AI affecting the food logistics? I don't understand <laughs> all the details. It's supposed to be fixed by right. tomorrow, but I couldn't wait. You paid Cloudpunk to bring you a pizza? Sure. I've been working all night. I need this. This pizza delivery so probably right. costs more than my salary. Couldn't you just order a regular pizza and pick off the pieces of pineapple? <laughs> sure. And why don't I just drink the juice out of the bottom of my trash can while I'm at it? <laughs> oh, what an ass. <laughs> Is pineapple so bad? No, Camus, it's fine. <sighs> Actually, I've never even tried it. It's too expensive. There is a sign over there. Did you see the sign? The one that says you are now entering the spire? No cold callers, no panhandlers, organ donors needed? Yes. What if it was different? Different how? Different in a nice suit. Way. Are you suggesting a prank, Camus? I am suggesting a prank. Seems risky. Maybe we should just get out of here. I don't know. Telephone here. Leave your sign and return to the vehicle. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think so. I think we'll avoid that because uh, that could uh, ban us from future possible things up here. I'm I'm assuming that's what it would be. That's yeah. I'm not doing that. Change the sign near the lift. Where's the vehicle? Let's just go to the vehicle. Hey, right, where's the green guy? Oh, that's the other one. And the yellow one is the falconeer guy. Alright, so let's just go to the lift. Alright. I think it would have been good to write a message on the board. Maybe, Camus, but <clears throat> pranks can get you fired. That's right. What would right. you have written? Something satirical? Pineapple is not so bad. Is that a good satirical? Not really, Camus. Maybe you are better at jokes. There's nothing funny about the people up there, Camus. I won't laugh at them till they're down here with us. You see, sometimes you just gotta think, right? Just gotta think a little bit before you act. Would've been fun to put it there, but you could be jeopardizing future possible cash, man. You know, that's how I look at that. Don't wanna burn the bridges. Is that how that goes, that saying? Let's see what this guy here is. Don V. Hey, hi. He hello there. I saw you earlier delivering parcels. Are you Cloudpunk? No, sorry. I have to go. Wait, don't be like that. Listen, I know you're Cloudpunk. I, I just want to ask something. 
And who are you? Don V. I work for the Inquirer. A reporter. Oh, no way, Mr. V. <laughs> Mr. I hate when people do that. Just call me Don. Shit, me too. Sorry, Don. Look, you don't need to talk to me, but I'm investigating corp corruption. You're from the East, right? No one from out that way loves the corpse. What do you need to know? You're delivered to the Spire, right? That's your question? Just confirm something for me. Are they ordering pizzas via express delivery up there? The CEO of Entech says that all corps are on a spending freeze till the end of the day, in sympathy for the famine in District 6. Will I get in trouble for saying anything to you? Probably, and so will I. You ever meet an investigative reporter in Nefalis before? <laughs> no. Nope. That's because they're all at the bottom of the sea. So... Yes, they ordered pizza. I knew it. Here, take this. I tip all my sources. Makes them less likely to sell me out to Corpsec. Thanks, Cloudpunk. Nice. So I made money both ways. <laughs> oh, sweet. All right, so uh, let's uh, let's return to the Hova. All right, here's Control. Hey kid, the uh, weirdest job came up. Uh, there's not much pay in it though. I could do weird as long as it's not some other rich asshole. <laughs> Definitely not. The moisture farmers in the vents are starving. They need emergency rations. This job takes you pretty far, all the way out of Novellas. What? Really? Yeah, in a, a technical sense, at least. The vents are outside Corpsec jurisdiction and just outside the Novellas city limits. They're below the city, actually, uh, in the maintenance frame that supports the infrastructure. And people live there? If you call it a living. They eat mold and uh, algae that grows on the steam vents. But they're free. Mmm. Sounds a yummy. To pay for freedom, kid. I'll do it. Pick up the packages from Cloud Punk HQ, and I'll send you a nav point down into the vents. Sounds good. We're just gonna go tell uh, Falcon here about Norman. And then, uh, I guess we'll uh, head over there. Alright, so we made it back to that falconeer there. Let's have a little chit-chat with him. Hey, I saw your bird. I mean your falcon, Norman. What happened? We had a disagreement. <laughs> so you let him go? Let is not the word I would use. So Norman escaped? He clawed my eye. If I catch him, I will skin him. You have to be careful with wild animals. I told you, he is not a wild animal. Where did you see him? The slums. Deep in the slums. You know the part that smells like sulfur? In the low levels? Yes. <laughs> well, lower than that. Right. Time to teach that bird a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Good stuff. <laughs> Oh, that makes my day. Alright, so we're back here at uh, Cloud Punk Station. Gonna pick up the emergency rations. We are going away from the city? We don't like the city. Not really, Camus. We're just going through to the vents below. It won't be like home? I don't think so. Is it dangerous? We're trying to save these people from starving, Camus. I think they'll be glad to see us. It's worth the risk. Do you think this is nice food for the people? I think it's all they're getting, and I'm surprised they're getting it. I hope they like it. Me too, Camus. Oh, where'd that guy come from? <laughs> all right. I think this is where we gotta go down. the other place we were in. Almost exactly like it. Hmm. Alright, so. Here's our... Ah, uh, parking's nice. 
beautiful. Now, what do we got down here? Let's see if I can go grab this first, and then we'll go talk to the peoples. What is it? Hmm, membership. Sweet. All right, Retsu. Hello, Retsu. You the delivery stooge. <laughs> Help I'm me. I'm from Cloudpunk. I have your packages. Those are no use to me. I can't deliver to the outposts anymore. None of our vehicles work. The fuel lines froze. You should keep your engine running. Did you get that, Camus? Yes. I will keep a couple clock cycles free and monitor the temperatures. How do you live here? It's so cold. What do you care? I asked, didn't I? Mm. Whatever. Just leave the packages here. Go back to your city. Will it's do. It's not my city. Sure it is. You took this job because you were curious, right? Welcome to your poverty safari. <laughs> this is our life. I'm not even from the city. The Eastern Peninsula? Up until last week. I see. Sorry. I thought you were just another Nivali. Nivali? My name's Retsu. Rania. Cora knows what you must think of the big stack. That's what we call the city down here. It's the worst place on the planet. And we cling to Cora, the huh? like barnacles. And you know what? It's a hell of a lot better down here. We made this place a kind of home. I bet. You've been here a while? Yeah. I wasn't the first, though. Old Zeke traveled out here over a hundred years ago. He set up the first moisture farm, collecting heat for his home from the vents. Hmm. Folk had tried to live here before him, but he was the first to realize you couldn't live on rations alone. And <laughs> you had to be ready for the chills. So what was old Zeke's secret? Zeke realized you could cultivate the algae pits for warmth when the vents cycled cool. He realized you could mill the mold dust into flour. Ugh. He figured out how to cross the steam lanes with a suit made from old abandoned hovers insulation layers. I swear, they say no one alive can survive the wastelands between the cities. But if anyone could, it was Zeke. Hmm. And you took his place as the boss? I'm the community leader, sure. But I'm not the longest surviving settler, not by a long shot. The elders living beyond the far rim say they knew Zeke's grandkids. <laughs> Tales of Zeke surviving, thriving even out here in the vents, attracted a lot of folk that wanted to live off the grid. Away from corp security and the lights and the headaches. Everyone has headaches in the big stack, you know. I don't. You will. Everyone gets them eventually. Doesn't the air smell cleaner down here? Every time I breathe in, it feels like my lungs are going to freeze and shatter. <laughs> well, that is the problem right now. This is supposed to be summer. How can it be summer here? The warm season. The vents cycle between warm and cold over a predictable time period. Or at least they used to. It seems like all the maintenance systems are going mad recently. We have a saying here, Cora provides. Well, right now all Cora is providing is a new ice age. <laughs> what do you think Cora is? Cora is everything, and all of us. Cora is the provider, and the caretaker, and the disciplinarian. Cora holds out a closed fist, and we must push out our chin. Sometimes the fist holds food, sometimes the fist strikes us, and yet we must endure. So Cora is your... Salvation, and right now Cora has sent us you. I'm not really religious like that. I think you have to help yourself. 
be independent. I agree. You can't lecture us on independence while you live in Nivalis under the watch of the corpse. <laughs> you said you cling like a, what did you call it? A barnacle? Huh. Harsh and fair words, Ronio. I know you have seen Cordus light, though. It glows from you. Am I wrong? Who knows? So, you want me to deliver these parcels? I would appreciate it. We really are starving. Three families. I can give the coordinates to your vehicle. Okay, I'll get going then. I'll see you on the way back. Cora willing. Be cautious around my brethren, Ronia. They live like sculptures of ice. Fragile and temporary. Mm hmm. Alrighty. So let's go deliver those parcels. We'll be uh we'll, we'll be good people. You know, that's what we came down here in the first place, right? So Three hundred and something that way. One's uh, jeez. Ooh, Let's check my map here. Okay, so around the bend, around the bend, and there's another one straight that way too. So hard to see that bend on the map. Be here. Alright. Yeah, that's right. Over here. Ah, crazy. Alright, we got some stuff on the ground here, too, to pick up. What do we get? More parts. Yes, exactly what we needed. Oh, here we go, moisture farmer. Who are you? <laughs> I was sent to deliver supplies. Sent by who? Cloudpunk. I don't know who that is. You from the big stack? Get out of here. You need this. It's food. I don't need nothing from you. Retsu said... Retsu sent you? Yes, he said you should take this. What did you say? Give it here. <laughs> they don't trust us very much. I bet they have their reasons, Camus. Weird. I could push you. Some characters can walk right through you, and that guy could push you. Interesting. I think I've seen that a couple times now. Alright, so that's one down. One down. Mm, this way. Mm, that was close. Oh, there's something to pick up here, too. Are we not lucky? More ingots, I bet? Or are those little plastic parts? Yes. Look at that. Plastic parts. I'm so lucky. Hello, moisture farmer. I brought you supplies. Who sent you? <laughs> Retsu. Well, okay then. I ain't seen no one from the sex down here in years. Decades, even. You know, maybe you can use this. You put it in the wall and it gives you a token. Or something like that. Interesting. Uh, thanks. It, it's just five numbers on a bit of paper. That's right. Thank you kindly for the supplies. Now we even. Well, thank you kindly. <laughs> he gave us a ticket. Okay. Whatever. It's all good. Never know. Could come in handy. Might be a winner. See. I think the last one's down yonder. Over here. There we go. I have a car on this one. Oh, overshot. There we go. Parked it like a pro. Let's grab that. Uh, well, I bet you it's a plastiling it. Plastiling it. Guaranteed. Is it? What do you think, everybody? <gasps> it's not. It's, uh, broken augments. Nice. I got foiled. Alright, let's go over here, grab this. Talk to this guy. Hello, I'm here too. 
They already called me on the old CB radio and told me you were on your way. You're the talk of the town, lady. Uh, I'm just a delivery driver. <laughs> You're the talk well, of the I town. I don't know anybody has said this to you before, but I'll say it now. Thank you. Uh, thanks. I mean, you're welcome. I'd get back to the city as quick as possible, lady. There's a chill coming. I can feel it in my bones. Anyone outside is gonna get charted. Go, quickly. And don't think twice about coming back here, you hear? Okay. Good luck. Awesome. It's gonna get sharded. What do you mean by that? By that? Oh, I guess maybe it's so cold that... Yeah, maybe. <laughs> What a strange, strange place. Oh, okay. This way. Uh, this way. I guess we're done here now? As far as I can tell. Oh, wait. Gotta go down here. I can see Retsu. Why is he not moving? Oh, no. Camus, find us somewhere to park. The security overrides won't let me. The temperature is too low. It is not safe to land now. If you got out of the Hova, you would feel very cold. Then you'd be stuck, like the man. He's not uh -oh. stuck, Camus. He's gone. He can't be gone. He can't move. Dead, He's frozen. Camus. He's dead. Aw. Oh, no. Fragile and temporary. Let's go. There's nothing else we can do. Horrible. Well, that sucks. Poor guy. Oh, well, we tried. Well, he should have known. I think he was down here for so long. I am getting a message request. Why are you getting a message request? If there's a message request, it should come to my comm. The message is addressed to the Hova. So it's... Patch it through, I guess. My ship had finally come in, but in this case, the ship was a battered hova. Redemption comes in all shapes and sizes, sometimes with bumps, dents, and a dime store paint job. What? Who is this? <laughs> the dame wanted a name. What did I have left to lose? And nothing but my hat. I let her know that I was Huxley, but I uh, left off the private investigator. She'd know the deal soon enough. Um, so you're a private investigator and your name is Huxley. The dame was as sharp as my ex-wife's parting words before she left me and moved back in with her mother. She <laughs> begged me as a PI, but I uh, still needed her help. Maybe I could drop some bills in her pocket if she could get me back to the big stack. I think Huxley is malfunctioning. I'm closing this channel now. Please stop calling me. The dame was giving me a shoulder so cold, I was getting frostbite. I uh, had to sweeten the deal. I'd already mentioned the cash, but uh, no dice. Maybe I'd put it all on red and tell her about the girl I was trying to save. The dame sounded hot as ice, but Pasta's story was so sad, it would melt a diamond. Why does he talk like that? <laughs> no kidding. I would actually help him if he wasn't so annoying. I've never heard so many mixed metaphors in all my... I dangled the bait in the water, but the dame wasn't buying. Without my help, Asha was done for. When the dead corpse finished with her, eh, God knows what would be left. Dead corpse? Is he trying to save some girl from them? Or are you? I located his signal. I have a nav point. We could pick him up. Should I display the nav point? Hey Huxley, if you can answer a simple question, I'll take you back up the city. Are you really a PI trying to save a girl from a debt corp? Yes, is what I wanted to say. But the dame was suspicious, and who could blame her? Here I was, some abandoned PI android stuck in the hollows with a two-bit story about trying to save some girl. In her position, I would have hit the dirt in a heartbeat. But here's the kicker. The story was true. Fine. Camus, give me an F point. We'll take him uh, with us and drop him off on the way. That's crazy. Alright. Let's go this way. <laughs> what a story. Oh, man. I'm telling you. Crazy, crazy stuff. So here's Huxley. Let's uh, grab him and go. Are you Huxley? came through. Unbelievable. 
Alright. Let's get you where you gotta go. Why do you talk like that? Who was this bum that was questioning me? Another tin can with an attitude and too many questions. I gave him the brush off. Hey, don't talk to him like that or I'll drop you in the hollows. The dame had a point. I'd better play nice for now. I'd slip her some bills when she took me to the holocash machine. A handful of limbs should help dip this sour lemon in a little sugar. Can you understand what he is saying? About 40% of it. The dame and the car were close. Any fool could see that. But I, I looked beyond the surface. She was a girl from out of town. Still as green as the water supplies down in the vents. You said you're a private investigator. Do you really think that's how they talk? She had an attitude, but I liked her. And a dog, too. How did he know I was... am... your dog? I guess that's what investigators do, right? There was a holocash machine up ahead, but I had to keep a real low profile. I'd give the dame my number and let her grab the cash for me. And that number would be? I gave her the digits. Five, four, two, four, four. She <laughs> was a smart cookie. She'd remember them. Okay, so hollow cash machine. Is that where you gotta go? These things. Oh, these things. Ah, uh, so we got uh, five, four, two, four, four. Access account balance. Okay, so we just take his money, all of it. One five one six. Thank you. Thank you very much. I settled the bill. Surely the dame would drop me like a bad penny now. This is a lot of money. I can drop you somewhere else if you like. Why are we helping him more? He's kind <coughs> of growing on me. Hmm. <laughs> the dame had a heart of gold. I asked her to drop me at my office. On the way, I'd tell her about Pashta. Maybe she'd fall for me like I'd fallen for her. I do not like this. Where is this office of yours, Huxley? We were headed towards my office in Old Town. I gave the dame a nav point to help her out. Hold on, Pashta. It won't be long now, kid. Thanks. Who is this Pashta, anyway? What happened to her? It was a story so sad it could make a bronze statue of a lawyer cry. It all started with a call from a small-time hustler called Peter Unthrink. He tended a bar downtown, but he had some bad debt. The debt corp took his cash, but when that wasn't enough, they took his daughter too. He had a record, so Corpsec wasn't gonna help him. With nowhere left to turn, he sought the help of Midtown's best cheapest P.I. So the debt corpse can abduct children now? The dame didn't realize who she was dealing with. The debt corpse had hearts blacker than my morning cup of joe. Huxley, were you always like this? Did something happen to you? The dame thought I had a screw loose. I guess her instincts were good. Truth was, there was a time when I sounded just like every other humdrum android out there. Now, I played a role so well, I was stuck in it. My programming was uh, messier than my accounting. Here's the kicker. I was a better investigator now than I'd ever been. Awesome. <laughs> See me hit that bus. <laughs> oh, that was absolutely horrible. Oh, do I have to go up higher? What was that it? So, uh, yeah. It's not here. I see the arrow. It's up. So let's go Your out. Your office is all boarded up. Did you get fired? The dog was half right. I was fired. But that oh. place was where I slept. So I, I guess I was homeless too. Eviction was the illness. But what was the cause? Probably not paying your rent. There's a note on your door. Shouldn't you read it? Who knew how hot this place was? I was sure I'd been tailed. If I stepped up to that doorway, I might get a knife in the back or a bullet in the head. I think you're being overdramatic. I'll check out the note. What if it is not safe? I'll take my chances. I want to see what this note says. Alright, let's go check this out. Got a note on his door. Investigate. Okay, I can see the note. 
It says, go to the blue chewy jazz bar and ask for the smoking man. We're not taking him there, too, are we? I couldn't ask the dame for much more. She'd already stuck her neck out for me. We can drop him off at the bar. It's close by. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll uh, drop this guy off at the bar the next time around. So uh, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.